As the title presents, cats rule the streets in this country. It is so that you can find them anywhere. Seeing one in a snack's aisle at the market, on a ballot box during elections, or on a toll gate would not even count as a surprise. These usually hygienic and well-kept animals are treated affectionately by the Turks. Their numbers go so tall in some areas that they star in videos like how many cats will is see in 30 minutes. What offers the opportunity to freely roam the cities while staying clean and full to those cats is the attachment Turkish people have for them. They're mainly tabby, orange tabby, tuxedo, angry cat and Asian cat. Many Turks are used to living along with cats since childhood and they love it. Another reason is that the dominant religion in Turkey, Islam, defines cats as clean animals. The Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad, is known to have a fondness for cats and even lived with one in his house, named Muezza. Cats receive attention and affection from every age group in Turkey. You can find cat food and water pans in every neighborhood, yet people still go around with treats in their bags, with hopes of finding a cat who will make their day by eating from them. Turks are keen on adopting cats who lost their mother or got sick. You may hear stories about how cats become the boss of the house as soon as they enter it. This one for example, clothed at my door once. I opened the door and offered water and food. He didn't like it, took a tour of the house, finished his inspection and left. The furry friends appear to make people smile during the tiring and depressing flow of life, usually living a stationary life in cities. If you see one in front of a butcher shop eating, you will likely be seeing the same scene for weeks to come. Or you might see the same buddy at the same toll gate every day like an officer. On a university campus, they are given names and treated as students. In classrooms, in public transportation, in parks, on trees, on vehicles, at windows or doors of residences, and so many more. In short, if they liked it there, you'll keep seeing them there every day. Right now, you are seeing my cat, Turshu, a tabby cat. We met in a village, and every day I go to that village, I get greeted at the village center by him. Usually, we spend the whole day together. If you'll have a short vacation in Turkey and encounter some, Thank them for the hospitality and expect to share your stay with them. Let me introduce you to Chingene, a beloved friend of the shopkeepers in his street. I never forget to pass him before entering the supermarket. And here are some of the most famous cats in Turkey lately. Tombili, whose statue was raised after his passing away. Gli was born and raised in Hagia Sophia. And one of the iconic cats of Ankara, Kalisi. <laughs> it is a little wordplay because her name is also referencing Ankara Kalisi meaning Ankara Castle. Stray cats are free spirits. It's difficult to foresee what they will do. They are proud. Even if they are not full, you might not understand that because sometimes their attention to you will be very limited. Additionally, they struggle against the mice just as the cartoons would show you. Seeing a rat on the street is quite a rare occurrence in Turkey. As the boss of the streets, the cats make the rules. These little animals, once slaughtered in Europe and worshipped in Egypt, are seen as sweet friends in Turkey today. It proves that geography is destiny for animals as it is for us humans. Shh.